What's going on guys? Back with two sticks for you. Um, they're both for Cam. Uh, he's a Canadian, so it's cool to get some sticks up to the Great White North. And um, I actually strung the first one during the uh, stream of the NCAA games on Saturday, and the second one I finished up last night. So um, the first one, I'll go with the first one, I'll just string them the way I did, but the first one's definitely the cooler one. Um, here is a orange Warrior Nas X with an Assassin Pocket with Navy Fade and white and orange shooters, and this thing is just awesome. It's kind of cool, I just got to do two orange sticks in a row, but um, different colorways. And so, um, as I said, it's got the navy fade throne mesh, and then it's got a, a navy and white triangle top, white sides, navy in the throat, and then it's got a heavy top, white nylon, two orange straights, and a six U straight. And the channel on this thing is just so sick. Very similar to, I mean, it's pretty much exact to uh, Ben's Nas I did, the white one with the yellow. and. Um, Nas has that really forward cant, so it's going to give you that higher, nice, defined channel, and then with a little bit of flare, so it's going to give you a lot of hold and really, really nice release with it. Uh, probably almost more so than any other head with an Assassin in it, just because of the, the shape of this head fits this pocket very, very well. And i um, got to get you a ball stop. So that's the first one, just came out absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm really loving the Nas with the, uh, the Assassin is, is just it's a match made in heaven, just so, so nice. And I love the the orange shooters with the white and the fade. It just, you know, it's very dimensional. It gives you a lot of depth in the stick and a really, really cool look to it. So that's the first one. And uh, I actually threw around with this one quite a bit. Um, I actually just got a brand new ball and went outside and threw it then. So now the ball's filthy, but um, it was worth it. It was an absolute treat to throw around with this stick. And it's just so light. I mean, I have it on a Titan right now, but I had it on the Crypto with the, uh, you know, the minimal tape, um, and it was just, it felt like nothing in your hands, which is a good feeling and a bad feeling. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but, um, lethal setup, that's all I'm going to say. This on our light shaft is, will just make you unbelievably lethal, especially with the assassin pocket in it. It's just so, so nice. So, that's the first. And then the second one is a Nike Dunk. This is actually the first one I ever strung. It came out pretty nice. The head is a little bit warped, as you can see little bit warped um, it's got a lot of bend to it but um, the pocket came out really nice so they're, they're meant to go together complement each other so as you can see they look really nice together and this one I wanted to keep really classy because the other one's a little bit more flashy so it's got the navy fade thrown mesh in it and then we did all white stringing it so all white triangle top white sides white throat and then heavy top nylon and white two white straight and just uh, white 6u and uh, came out really nice. Uh, Assassin yet again goes in, uh, since this one's got a little bit more gradual flare, the Assassin um, also comes out really nice in it. Um, nice tight channel in it. Um, it's nice and long. That's a, well, probably my favorite thing about the Assassin. It has a really long pointed channel. It's not very abrupt. And um, came out really nice. And you can see um, in the fade, I try to make it a little bit more silvery, more like more of a gray in the middle, instead of being a lighter blue to go with the navy. And I think it was really successful, but the fade mesh just looks unbelievable. I mean, it, it looks good in the camera, but in real life, it's just, it's mind bending. I went to um, lacrosse the other day and I used my uh, my uh, Evo X6 and it's got the yellow in it. And um, the yellow is a little bit more subtle because everyone picks up the black first. And uh, But then when they saw it, everyone was like, what, you got yellow on the top? But everyone really loved it. So I'm glad that everyone's really digging the look. I really like it because it makes it really interesting up top and then it gets really classy so it's it's you know it's not just crazy it looks like it has purpose and the other thing I was talking to a goalie about it and um, he said um, having the color up here that was darker because um, I was I, I was brought a stick that had black in it and I was throwing around with it a black fade in it and he said it was really weird seeing the ball come out um, because you're used to trying to follow it out from here and when it hits this plane with the horizontals being in white and the vertical or, and the ball coming out vertical, it kind of it skipped. Instead of him being white, trying to see a shadow, it kind of dropped it and made his eyes refocus. So, And then I lit him up. So I don't know if it was the match or I was just having a good day. But um, it definitely is different for goalies to see something that is solid one color and seeing the ball all the way out, or solid white and seeing the ball come all the way out. or And then this change, I think, definitely screws with their mind a little bit. And I definitely think the white on the dark adds to that even more because it kind of hides the ball yet shows it so I think the shadowing is different. I could be wrong. I'm going to talk to my uncle a bit about it because um, I'd like to see if I could come up with a mesh that 
is, you know, not only is a sick mesh and gives you a great pocket and great accuracy and great hold, but also kind of screws with the goalie's mind. And um, um, they've been talking about that hockey for years with like black on black or white on white or black sick with white. And um, I think there could be something to it, especially in lacrosse, um, that would help you help you out. Or you could just bolt out a stick and no one can see anything. It's just blinding. But it's interesting. They both came out really beautiful. So Cam, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, he also ordered some throne mesh and some stringing kits. So I'm going to ship those with this all together. And they look really awesome. They go this way. It's cool seeing two assassins in two colorways. I like that. I think I kind of want to do a black, an all black stick with an assassin and an all like yellow and white stick with an assassin and just have them together. Just, you know, just put them on the wall like this and everyone knows it's a lacrosse venture. But, um, Cool guys, hope you enjoy it. Cam, I'll get those shipped out to you, to Canada. Um, you don't live too far away from me, so you'll probably get them the same amount of time you would in the States. Um, I don't really think Customs is gonna be looking through the cross sticks for drugs, but <laughs> that's everything guys. Have a great day, and uh, more videos coming soon.